wondered why rich Westerners, dismissive about religion in general, find solace in Buddhism. Well, let's take a look at the story of Prince Siddhartha, or Buddha as he became known. Basically, it's a story of a rich kid who decided to slum it. No joke, this guy Buddha was living at home in this palace, leeching off his dad until he was 30. Then, like some spoiled trust fund baby, he leaves the palace and finds all this romance in self-inflicted deprivation. All the while knowing he could ring up his dad to top up his visa card the minute anything went wrong. Hey, Buddha, here's a spiritual insight. All these poor people you're trying to emulate would have exchanged their noble life under the Bodhi tree for the opulence of your dad's palace in a snap. Which brings me back to my original point. I wonder why all these rich Westerners can relate so well to Buddha. Well, maybe it's because Buddha was the prototypical spoiled rich kid acting all dirty and poor. Let's be honest here. If Buddha were alive today, he'd be playing bass guitar in the strokes. Until next time, go to hell.